got was at two point one thug two got a point three good for him Sir Thuggington got a one point three and then the last guy also got a one point three skip so so how it's going to work here is we're going to have pretty much so three players get to go. Mm -hmm. All of them, or th then three of them, then one player. Yeah, okay. So hold on. I'll read it out here. So three players, three NPCs, one player, one NPC, and then the round's over. All right, let's do this. So we'll wait for Mike to get back. Yep. Dave's first, right? No, well, it doesn't. Yes, yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. So now it just now that we've determined that there's three of you guys, three of them. Oh, okay. One of you guys, one of them. You guys get to choose who goes first. So if you wanna, you know, decide who should go after who, and then what was the rule coordinate the, uh, the master plan. What was the rules for the uh, the area, or this for how long, or how far you can move? So. Yeah, that measuring tool, don't use it. <laughs> okay. So uh, this game is all just very abstract, so there's no measured distance in this game. Right, but I so can't right now, here to here one move. No, so it's very generalized. So right now you guys are at long range. So it's, uh, you know, maybe not seems like it, but uh, let's go with medium range. So everybody's at medium range. Makes so sense. it goes from medium to short to engaged. Engaged is close combat. Mm -hmm. So you can spend, if you take a look at here, you can move one range band with a maneuver. So you can go from medium to short with one maneuver. Okay. okay. So we'll say, um, you know, between here, uh, let me. I can use a ruler to demonstrate. So this is one, do you guys see that? Mm -hmm. Yep. That's like from medium to short, and then from short to close. Okay. Seems reasonable. Okay. So, Mike, uh, now that we have everybody rolled and everything, how it works is you're not stuck going last if you have a shitty roll. Um, so three players rolled faster than the NPCs. So it goes three players. Any one of you, you guys get to decide who goes first each turn, who goes second, who goes third. Then I do three NPCs, then one more of you guys and one more of the NPCs. And you can well, change orders whenever you want to. I have no ranged weapons, so as long as you guys all have ranged weapons, I would recommend you guys going before me. Well, yeah, I've got my blast rifle. I can try to take one out as quick as possible. <clears throat> yep. I am a ranged weapon. <laughs> What what kind of character do you have? Um, chess. Uh, a marauder, a Wookiee, like all melee oriented. Ah uh, yes, gotcha. All right, cool. Uh, yeah. So I mean, I've I've got the, I've got a pistol. So uh, we may as well just all go, and then leave Mike to the end to tend to our wounds or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. All Be right. our heel bot. All right. So somebody <laughs> make somebody drop on B first. All right, I'll go first then. All right, okay. do it. All right, so you get to move. So your is into short range right here, and I'm going to take a second maneuver to go okay. with it, engage, and oh, I'm going to yeah. use one strain to uh, attack him with my gaff stick. So uh, you can't use a strain to do an action, but we'll say you did it this way. So you did your one maneuver, then you took a strain to do another maneuver, and then you used yeah. your normal action to attack. Okay, yep. that makes sense. So take your one strain, if you haven't already. There we go. All right. So you're going to pound on him with what now? The gaff stick. So I'm going to beat him pretty good. Yeah, probably. All right. So you roll whatever your melee skill is. Uh, is somebody uh, eating an apple? What was that? No, that's... A... It was a can. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so the melee... Yeah. Is rank two, so... It should have... 
Oh, no. In your screen, it should tell you what your dice is. Maybe yeah. it won't. Yeah. And that takes into account, like, my talents and stuff, right? Like the first. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Oh, hold on. You oh, have to okay. add the, the negative dice to it, too. Ah, crap. Okay, that's right. Go ahead. What am I getting? So that's what your character adds as far as good things, and me, in charge of things, I add all the bad shit. So if you notice down here, engaged, it's an easy con back chat, so one purple. Yeah, I can't read that, but go ahead. Yeah, so add one purple. And then since be, this planet sucks and it's like a super acidic air, add yeah. one black dice. Okay. Now roll. Yep. There you go. Oh, so nice. That's much better. <laughs> and a triumph. <laughs> that is a critical hit. Uh, and critical hits on minions. Kill them. Explode. Can we get an awesome uh, description of his death? Well, since it's a critical hit, let's actually be fun and roll on the critical hit chart. <laughs> and see what you did to him. All right. I just have to find where that critical hit chart is. God damn it, Mike. <laughs> Don't turn it into a chess. <laughs> it's not my turn to think. It's all time. <laughs> uh, what? Critical hits are on 243. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, chats, you get to roll the percentage dice. So, I hit the big percentage. All right. I'm going to rid of the other ones first. Yeah. Percentage. Ooh. 85. That's that's nice. That's a nice beard there, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's fault. He showed it to me last week. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. I was looking at the vehicle critical hit chart. My bad. I, found it. His, I was like, his, his shields his, are down? What? His motor exploded? <laughs> <laughs> he has a bad motivator? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So essentially you hit him right in the chest with your gaffy stick and impale him right through his sternum. <laughs> Mike, what the hell is that? <laughs> All right. So he mm. you, just kind of gurgles, and you got to shake him loose from your gaffy stick. Skewered with a gaffy stick. Yeah, he totally didn't see the giant angry Wookiee run around the building. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So... <laughs> <laughs> so who's going next? Uh, I'll go. I'm gonna take go a um, a shot with my blaster rifle at Thug Two. At Thug Two, okay. So uh, whatever your green and yellow skills are in your character sheet, then he's at medium. So that's two poop, two purples, two purples, two poops. Some poobles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then uh, just to, for the hell of it, I'll add in a dark side to upgrade one of those purples to a red. Because <gasps> I'm a dick like that. <laughs> wow, what a dick. And uh, add one black because of the, uh, the atmosphere. Jesus Christ. And, a, and another black because he's hiding behind some, some decent uh, cover there. <laughs> Oh! And... oh. <laughs> wow! No. What's with the crits? <laughs> you guys are crit machines. <laughs> All that's, right, that's pretty incredible. So uh, let's see here. So obviously, kill the guys. So roll your percentage, and we'll see what happened to them. Just for the the fun of it. Mm -hmm. Sixty, eh? All right, so you nail him just kind of up the shoulder like this, splitting that part in half as he just kind of falls to the ground and you can't see him anymore. Oh, yeah. But you yeah. also got three threat, which is going to do something fun. Um, Tower hmm. falls down. Uh, let's delete. You blew up that shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's how viciously you blew shit up in that general direction. <laughs> 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 as, <laughs> as I have to roll out of the way, <laughs> look back. Look back. Hey, hey! I, I burnt a little hair on your arms. Be careful. <laughs> All right, Colin, it's your turn. And if you roll another critical, I don't uh, even know. I'll just. I, uh, you guys will win the galaxy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm gonna be shooting at. Um, what we got here. 
I'll I'll uh, see if I can take out Sir Thuggington the third there. All right. So uh, um, medium. So that's two purples. And two a black. Purples and a black and another second black because he's hiding behind whatever this circle represents. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. So I think that's yep. All right. Bickety bam. Oh, not a critical. Oh, so not even pissed. a success. <laughs> but at the same time, he ducks down, and with the advantage, you can choose how about he misses his turn and goes last. Perfect. <clears throat> All right. Eww. So this this round, he's going to go last. All right. Um, all right, so because you made him duck down and, you know, he managed to avoid being hurt by Mrs. His shit, um, the, those two guys are last, because Skip was slow as fuck, and he's ducking. <laughs> so, Mike, what would you like to do? I guess I'll bust up on Sir Thuggington the third and all right, so his it's, face. So, with one maneuver, you can go from, well, I did not mean to move you, sorry. It's all right there. Uh, yes, yeah, so, and then you can take one strain to move to take a second maneuver on your turn. Okay. I'm up in his business. Yeah, sure. Normally, you go sh uh, short, and then an additional um, thing to go into engaged. But for, for the sake of fun, we'll say you just charged him as a torch wielding robot. I don't have a torch. I have brass knuckles. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's that's also pretty awesome. All right, so roll your uh, melee if you have it. So I have a brawl of yellow and green. Oh yeah, it's brawl. It would be good since it's brass knuckles. Yeah. Yep. So so your brawl, um, and, and he's ducking down so he doesn't get any cover, and one black and one. Purple. One, so one black, one purple, one yellow, one green. Yep. You have a tough time with that word today, aren't you? What's that, Dave? <laughs> you said purple like four times. Four. I'm, I'm an idiot, so it's going to yeah, happen. It's the toxic air, I understand. Yeah, the pipe. I, I don't know what I did there. So you... the little explosions mean successes. Okay. And the little other thing, if you mouse over it, it'll show you it's an advantage. Uh, advantages give you. Um, well, a slight bonus on something. So we'll do the successes first. So what damage do you do with that attack? I do uh, plus one damage, so I'm assuming it's plus my brawn. So it's whatever your brawn, plus one, so plus three. an additional one for each success you have. So you did five. Okay. So he's wearing some armor, so he takes a little bit of wounds. A little bit. It's got special disorient three. Oh shit, disorient. What's that do? Um, I can check. I think a disorient makes it so he can't take any maneuvers next turn. Sweet. Do you guys see the bar above his head? No. Mm, no. Sweet. I also don't see a bar above uh, Mike's head either, though. No. I don't have bars. I'm a robot, dude. <laughs> oh, I have no health. Mike, what's your what's your health? Um. What's your, your wound threshold? My wound threshold is 14. Okay, and what's your strain? 12. Uh, and what is it currently? Um, I took 4, and then didn't I have to take one strain to get up to this dude? Yeah, so you're so at 9. Five, okay. 9, yeah. There we go. All right, so you, you punch him. Uh, you definitely did some damage, but you think most of the uh, the attack was was blocked by his armor. So he immediately turns around and tries to hit you as well. And this is where this system is kind of different, Mike. You'll get to see what everyone rolls. Okay. So he gets dink, 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 melee, and shitty air. And is there anything else that he adds? Uh, no. So, da -da 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 -da. oh, he punches you pretty good. Ouch. Punch my head off. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you take four. Oh, so four. Sorry, seven is what you you take. So his brawn is three plus one per success. So a total of four damage. What's your soak? Uh, where the hell's that? Top, top of the character sheet. I have zero in my soak value. Did you, you did buy you have heavy armor? clothing? Yeah, you bought heavy clothing. Yeah, so... Or the equivalent, that? which is so yeah. one. 
have eight clothing. Okay. So you so should have so, one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that means that you ignore one of those. So you take six damage. But how much brawn do you have, Mike? Oh right. What's uh, your brawn? Soak value is brawn plus armor. I always forget that. Two. So you Two. ignore three of the seven. So you only take four. <clears throat> So that's four actual physical wounds? Yep, four wounds. Damn. Yep. And Skip will... Let's see. He'll take a maneuver to go over here, and he'll shoot at Colin. Ah! And <clears throat> they have shitty slug thrower rifles. Dave, the next time you want to shoot out my cover... <laughs> All I'm gonna say is duck. <laughs> we need we need to have a little chat about your. <laughs> hey, I gotta get shit done. Doesn't matter. Who's in the way. <laughs> yeah, he can't hear you over the sound of being that awesome. <laughs> so he's gonna get an additional black dice because you're behind some cover there. <clears throat> Booyah! What little I have left. <laughs> oh, we failed and Woo-hoo. got to advantage. So he'll take another. Uh, maneuver for free for his advantage and hide behind there again. God damn it. So he's breaking line of sight. Skip is a tricky motherfucker. Alright, so uh, we start again. Who wants to go first? I can go. Do it. Go I'll, uh, I'll have to uh, get behind, get beside uh, Mike, or um, Call here, and then do I have line of sight through this water tower? Uh, to hit Sir Thuckington? Yeah. Uh, uh yeah. You could, but he's currently beating the shit out of a robot. Nice. <laughs> All right. So what I'll do is, where was I? I was right. So about there for, for one, and then I'll take a strain to get down to there. Okay. And. Take a shot at Skip. Alright, Skip's going to get two black dice in addition to the normal one. So, total of three black dice for Skip. Uh, he's probably at short now, I guess we would say. Yeah. Uh, so, one purple. And whatever your skill is. So, what was that? Three, two black or three black? That was three black. And a purple? And a purple. Ooh. You miss, and some threat. Uh-oh. Uh, so what do you guys think I should do with that threat? <laughs> no, well, yeah. <laughs> Taunts him mercilessly? <laughs> he didn't, he give, didn't give, make it into cover, so... Yeah, how about you take an extra strain, because you kind of tripped over a rock trying to get into position there. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Your awesomeness kind of slowed you down. This time. All right, I'm 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 gonna jump in here. I'm gonna I'm gonna run over to cover over here and grab, uh, um, Dave by the scruff of the neck and drag him into cover, and then uh, just as that's just flavor tax, like get your ass over here, and then uh, I'm gonna shoot Skip. Uh, no, I think grabbing moving another I don't, character is. I don't, that- I don't mean I actually am. I mean, like, because he, he tripped, and I'm oh. like, you know. So you, you run by laughing. Yeah, yeah basically. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, like. <All> right. <laughs> I should call it a dirty, dirty look you, and get up on my own. Show course. him how it's done. Uh, and then I'll shoot Skip. All right, so three black uh, and one purple. Three black, one purple, and my stuff, and sklabam. So that's a lot of threat, too. Yep. But it's also some successes. All right. So, uh, what's your that'd damage be, there? That'd be a total of nine damage with my blaster pistol. So that's enough to destroy poor Skip. Pew, pew, pew. So you shoot the hell out of him and riddle whatever he's hiding behind with bullets too. And at the same time, you destroy this, and it kind of like crumbles onto <laughs> you and knocks you prone. All right. <laughs> so you, sir, are a snail. <laughs> well, I think that's the All closest right. thing to prone there is. I think I don't see anything else. Yeah, no, that's that's fair. Snail it is. All right, so um, chess. You can probably get around there with two maneuvers if you wanted to. 
Or, Mike, you can... Do you well, get, he'll, you, he'll probably kill him quicker than I will, because I'm not, like... You guys get to do one... One of you guys gets to go before <coughs> Sir Thuckington gets to go. I would say Chess would probably be better to go and kill him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I can do it. How do so I get should, the strain back, though? Uh, at the end of this encounter, you guys will recover strain equal to your presence. Okay. So, so I'll make my first maneuver to get it within, I guess... Was, am I in short range here, or still is that still... We'll say you're at short right now, so two right. maneuvers will get you into engaged. Doesn't short go to engage, though? Yeah, uh, if he's starting at short, he would go... Oh, yeah. Go yeah, you're right. Him. Sorry, my bad. All right, so I'm going to run up around here, sneak up, and just beat him in the face with my okay. gaffy stick. Whoa. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So. still dripping some blood from the other skewers. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to add one purple, one black, and since there's two of you guys wailing on them, I'll give you a blue as uh, a bonus dice. Ooh, bonus. And uh, my melee again is... is this? And before you roll, I'm going to send a, spend another dark side point to make that purple a red instead. Okay. Ooh. Here we go. <laughs> And you guys are encouraged to use these two. And oh, another <laughs> double crits. What the? <laughs> you guys crit three out of the four this guys. This is a nasty ass gas. <laughs> Holy shit! This is a lightsaber in disguise. You're gonna have to, disguise, gonna have to spend like twenty minutes just cleaning the guts off that thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So roll your percentage. Jeez. Uh, uh, there's no reset all dice button. I think percentage won't do anything else other than oh, that. Okay. So, 33. <laughs> so you just hit him really hard across the side of the head, and you kind of dent a little bit of his, his helmet in. Clearly, probably some skull with it, and he just kind of slumps over. That's cool. Bash his brain, then. Yeah, but at the same time, it was such a powerful strike. Suffer uh, no strain, because you have nothing but advantages. So, we'll say <laughs> that as you smash his head in, uh, he kind of falls to the ground and his jacket falls open, and you notice he has probably about 60 credits sitting there in his jacket pocket. <laughs> <laughs> you literally punched him like a pinata and money fell out. So it's like right. Diablo. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll, I'll also split those credits amongst us all. So. Oh, sure. yeah, did we, uh, we got credits from the yep. other beef too. Yeah, Dr. So should Vash. Have, should, should have, have was... 30 extra credits now. Alright. Well, I'm going to start paying Colin back for my rifle. He can have my 60. Okay. <laughs> Settling up. Alright, so you managed to escape or m murder viciously all the thugs. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, you know the next spot is probably that shipyard that the guy mentioned. So he gave you the exact number since you guys got a frickin' triumph. Apparently triumphs are easy in this game. I had no idea. I think you guys only rolled one when we actually played the beginner box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. But uh, all right. So uh, let me clear the board here. So you guys can recover strain equal to your presence rating. <coughs> so whatever your presence is... Add strain back there. Sweet. Dose. All right. Colin, you can probably pick your sorry ass up off the ground there after shooting right. that guy ridiculously. I would hope so. Yeah. I like how you were doing that after you were showing him how it was done. You just it's, dove forward, John Woo style, like shooting, and then <laughs> face first into the that's, crate. That's exactly <laughs> what I imagined. <laughs> All right, so um, did you guys want to do anything else uh, prior to uh, going to the shipyard? Uh, yeah, as long as they don't have any valuables on them, I think we'll move it on over. All right, so you guys can rummage through the other guys, and we'll say you find an extra, um, I don't know, who's got a, a good, uh, what would be a good stat? A good stat? What would be a good skill to check for that? Oh, um, <laughs> uh, perception. Uh, Rummaging streetwise. Street like uh, no, we'll go with perception. Mm. That's probably right. yeah, probably that a makes good sense. Idea. All right, so everybody can roll a perception, and for every uh, 
success you get, you can find ten bucks. Uh, so just no difficulty dice, just the. Yep, exactly. Two, twenty bucks for me. No, no, it's every success. Advantages yeah, yeah. get you. Oh, that. sorry. I uh, yeah. So we found so twenty bucks, bucks for me. So. Is this individual uh, or is this like for everyone? Individual for every success is okay. ten dollars. So we let Colin search first, and he's like, "Ah, oh, I didn't find anything." Yeah. And we come out and we're like, "Look what we found! <laughs> Look at all this crazy swag, <laughs> pockets." <laughs> all right, I'm gonna move you guys off this particular page at the moment, just so okay. I can set it up. Okay, okay. Will you do that? I'll be right back. Yeah, how long is that gonna take you, Brian? Like two seconds. Oh, okay. I'll be back too. Okay. Hmm, I'm going to have to move some of this shit. Maps and background. Go to my tokens. <laughs> Drop that there. 